Hi guys, I'm going to show you uh, with the helicopter tug uh, how to recover if one side uh, just stops moving for some reason. Uh, one instance would be if your track broke completely off and uh, your helicopter's on it and you need to get out of the taxiway and uh, you really don't have any way to move it. So we've got what are called the emergency wheel kit and I'm going to show you how to install that. Uh, if there's any reason at all the side stops moving, the motor goes bad, anything at all, this will help you at least be able to get the uh, helicopter out of the way. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to load the uh, wheel attachment, emergency wheel attachments on. Now we've got this, uh, it looks like a hockey stick, and that's, we're gonna call that the pry bar. And I need to take, actually I'm gonna have Anthony help me. This is a two-man operation. So uh, if, you, if you're really tricky, you could probably do it with one person, but it's a lot easier with two. So I'm going to go under here and pry up the front of the tug. And then Anthony is going to go ahead and uh, install the wheel on the front here. So as I lift this up, now Anthony's got the ability to load that in there. That's, it's clearing the, uh, the wheel is up high enough off the ground and have to jiggle those pins in a little bit. They're got to be lined up and those pins just push right straight in. Okay. And get that lined up and that's good. Okay, so the front one is installed and that's what it's going to look like right there. Okay, so now we're going to load the front one. So I'm putting the hockey stick or the pry bar up underneath the front and I'm going to load it or raise it up. And Anthony is going to load the uh, front one in. The two pins got to line up with the holes on the plate. And that's good. So now we've got two rollers on. We've got one in the front, one in the back. And then now the track is up off of the ground. And that's critical. Okay, so. When you're actually moving the tug now with the helicopter on it, with the emergency wheels on, you need to have somebody positioned at the back to control it. Now, when you start going forward, the tendency is gonna be that the one side that has the wheels on it is not gonna to wanna to move. So just to even go straight, I'm gonna to have to compensate for it and pull the opposite way of where the wheels are. And you're gonna see that happening right now. Okay, so I'm pulling because we have, so I'm just keeping a straight line. Now I'm going to kind of let it go a little bit because I want to turn this way. Now I can turn whichever way I want to just by maneuvering this back. The, the remote control is just turning, uh, is just powering, powering the one side. So there's no turning happening on the remote control. Okay, so now we're going to back up. So come on back and I'm going to, I'm going to be steering from the tail. We're going to come back. And that track is completely off of the ground right now. OK, so now I'm going to let it straighten out. And I'm doing all of the controlling right there. That's, uh, so that's how you do it. I would recommend maybe practicing this a couple times before you actually need it so you know how it's done. Uh, it takes a little, little technique, but uh, that's how you use the emergency wheels.